A lot of you that watch my videos always say I need to get a real work truck. Someone messaged me recently and said they had one for a really good price. Fran is coming with me because we may or may not be coming home with another work truck. So apparently the truck does not have a battery. I'm just gonna take the battery out of the OG work truck so we can start it up. Now that's a work truck. You know why? You get the... All right. Try? Yeah, let's try it out. Right. Very nice. The inside is that's perfect. Nice and so nice. Yeah, this is so cool. CD and cassette in there, I believe. That's a good sign. How long has it been sitting? A couple of years, you think? No, not probably more than that. But who Honda. <laughs> <laughs> This is the lowest mile Integra I have ever seen. It's also one of my favorite colors of the Integra. And it's also got the black interior. It's pretty nice. It only has 53,000 miles. After a thorough inspection, I noticed that the rust had gotten the better end of this car. It was so bad that this quarter panel actually feels kind of soft. Well, I grabbed my battery and I think, unfortunately, it has a little bit too much rust. It didn't have the title either, so that's just another hassle within itself. And I told myself I'm not buying any more rust boxes. No more junk. <laughs> <laughs> because I have enough junk. Hey. So yeah, we're just gonna pass on it. Unless you can find the title, then that's a brand new winter beater for me. Until then, the work truck will do. Okay. It kind of sucks. I was not expecting us to leave without that car today, but that rust was a little bit too much. Yeah, the brake lines were completely rotted, so those were just gonna pop at any time. They look like Slim Jims. <laughs> Slim Jims? <laughs> he was willing to like accept my low ball offer, but and then I thought about it, I'm like, wait, this is like a whole project. I just, I need to just finish some of the things that I have now. And if you can find the title, I'll come back and, you know, scoop it because it'll be a lot easier to just put back to use instead of apply for the title, pay money, wait time. And especially with how often we get pulled over in these cars, we need to have a title or else we can't drive it. Seriously, I get pulled over and they're like, do you have your registration, your Check insurance? Your and then I need to see the VIN on your card and all three need to match. This happens often. Yeah. And I get pulled over for the dumbest things. It like, even happened to me once. I'm just a girl. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. She's like, no, this is my boyfriend's car. I was like, I don't know anything about this. You're like, ma'am, why is there a Honda badge on this? <laughs> <laughs> why is there a Honda badge on the Acura? <laughs> Do you guys think I made the right choice or should I go back and buy it? The only thing that was really nice in that car was the interior. There was not one flaw. And it had this radio that I've never seen before. It looked like there was like a phone or something. I don't know. I Let's take a picture, so I'll insert that. And it said Acura on it, so it must have been like a rare option or something. Never seen that before. Super cool. Well, after seeing how rusty that sedan was, we are now at the car wash to wash off all of the salt on the car. It has been a little bit too long. <laughs> it's literally white. Oh. There we go. The car is already starting to freeze. Well, I guess it'll be clean for probably the next two hours and then it'll be covered in salt all over again. We need to just move out of the Midwest. Agreed. Hopefully we'll make this thing nice someday. We're gonna pay James Allen a visit at JDM Chicago. I heard he's got new stuff. Yo, what's up, Allen? Yo, what's up, dude? What you got today? 
240, four door. Yes. Four door <laughs> S13. What's the story behind this one? Uh, we just got it a month ago? Two months ago? Is it's it for sale? You guys selling yeah, it? It's for sale. Oh. Oh, it's got the, the JDM paperwork, dude. It's got 57,000 kilometer on it. I want a skyline so bad. But not super great to spec. Non turbo. Yeah, at least it's a twin cam, yeah. Yeah, it could be worse. Could be a 20E. These small batteries are so funny to me. Mm -hmm. It's got this stupid thing to tell you when your battery is about to die. There's one that came attached to a, no to a nose cut, and I'm like, really? Mine. <laughs> Dude, this thing, is, this thing is nice. It's got no rust anywhere. It's pretty clean. The steering wheel is weird. It looks like it's been chewed on. I mean, weather stripping. The car sat for a long time, but all this stuff you can still buy brand new. Oh, so, really? I didn't know they offered that. Look at this. Yeah. Dude, this thing is so nice. What the heck? Shoo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we got here? China. China. <laughs> SSRs. Set of advents in the back there. Can't really see what they uh, are. Oh, those are the Type R wheels, right? Yeah, those are um, DC5. Dang. Well, too bad they're all 5x100. No, not all. Oh. oh, is this the right hand drive clip from the last time I was here? Yup. Engine's no longer in it. Oh, you guys sold the engine out? No, I pulled the engine. Oh, okay. What else do I have that's. A Apparently, the bumper pole on this works, which I've never seen in action. So hopefully we're gonna see it. Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> it only went up like this much. <laughs> oh, it's going. <laughs> Sick. Is this supposed to light up? Oh, it does light up. Yeah, it does. There's a tiny little green light in there. <laughs> Where's the button for it? Oh, it's in here? Yeah, it's right here. Huh. Press it and it goes, press and hold and it goes up. That's pretty neat. This thing looks beautiful just sitting here, man. It's alright. It's, it's alright! It's dirty! Dusty! Okay, one car wash later, like fix shit. a few dents. Grills, chrome is disappearing. It's turning into I didn't know those were chrome, honestly. Yeah. So I know this has an RB in it. Do you have any more new RBs coming in? I have some behind the car. Woo! Where are you? I think they're all over there. That's a Nissan motor made by Mercedes. Wait, what? Nissan made by Mercedes? Well, I don't know. It's got a Nissan ECU, but everything's all Mercedes. Mercedes. Q50. Two liter. Q50, huh? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, here's oh, one. There's Wow. Is this a 20? Uh, no, 25. Series... Neo. Woo! Well, I guess that's the chassis harness, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna say Neo. Neo? Is this how you know? This little... I think so, yeah. That's about the only way that I can tell. Oh, let's check the drain. Remember mine had no drain? What is this? Oh yeah, it's blocked off. It's a Neo. Uh -huh. What do these go for now? <laughs> Firstborn kidney. Firstborn's Left kidney. Testicle. <laughs> Left testicle. Ooh, beams. Hello, beams. Ooh, hello. More RB25s. Yeah. Beautiful. All, all wheel drive ones. That'd be so cool in an Integra. <laughs> all wheel drive RB25. Yeah, right. And then I got two rotary as well. Ooh. Needs a rebuild, needs a rebuild, it's a rotary if you don't rebuild it. Yeah. Sucks for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a green seat? Yeah. From from an EP3 Type R, but these two seats are the same, so I think this might be from a Cordura R with optional red in two. Huh. This, this blue. Rusty thing. Oh, too bad it's ruined. This would be sick. The other one's next to it, and it's perfect. Oh, that one's mint, yeah. Mm -hmm. Prius? Yeah. Why? <laughs> uh, taxi cabs. 
Really? Oh, company. true. Yeah. Dude, no Is this a Forester? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, I don't know anything about Subarus, but... They blow up. Yeah, they blow up. Head gaskets, I heard. <laughs> Head gaskets, rod knock. Alright, let's load up the work truck. Uh, Just shove her in there, it'll fold down. <laughs> Give it a nice oh, yeah. seat. Yeah, it'll fold. <laughs> For quick loads. Thanks, dude. I'm sure you guys are probably wondering what's in the package. It is the last pieces that I need for the roll cage. So once I finish the quarter panel on the 240, I can start doing the roll cage stuff or start doing the engine base stuff. I don't know, whichever one comes first, I guess we'll find out. But at least I have all the parts for the cage now. I've paid a visit to the storage unit where we are storing Fran's 240 at the moment to pick up this transmission. This is the transmission that came out of this Integra sedan. And if you've watched the build video for this Integra, you'll know that this transmission actually came out of a junkyard car. And after daily driving this car for a few years, I noticed that this transmission started making some weird noises. And I suspected there's a bearing failure or something going on inside. Luckily none of the gears grinded, so we don't have to worry about synchros and gears or sliders or anything like that. So I decided it'd be a good idea to rebuild this transmission since they are getting really hard to find. So we're gonna go take this trans to a specialist and hopefully we can figure out what's going on. Oh yeah, and look at how dirty this Integra already is. <laughs> it's covered. We're here with Antonio and his son Tony. This guy has been rebuilding transmissions for how long? 15 years? <laughs> I came to the right place. I mean, just look around. One, two, three, four Project Integras. <laughs> I think you know what's going on. <laughs> He's gonna help me take a look at this transmission and see what's going on on the inside. So, let's take a closer look. Alrighty, it's not looking good. Uh-oh. If you look in there, you see all the chunkage? Ooh. Yeah. So something ain't happy in there. We'll find out right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I knew something was up. <laughs> I had to take it to you to figure it out, though. <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> what? Ripping that case open? Nice. Right, so the Any goodies in there? Um... <laughs> Some. Ooh, some evidence. A little bit. Oh, it's not even bad, that bad over there. That is a magnet. Oh, never mind. Get it from this side. Yeah. This side? Ooh. <laughs> but even then. Oh, that one's kind of noisy. Oh. That might be your issue right there. Yeah. Is that the counter shaft? Yeah. Yeah. It still has one more bearing I want to check. On the bottom? And the main one, yeah. Mm. So, this guy. The wave spring, usually when they get real, real hot, uh -huh. this, will, this guy will be flat. It's not. It's, they're still oh, that's good. shaped to it, so it hasn't been... It's one good thing so far. Destroyed. <laughs> well, that's good, too. Shocking. Yeah, I expected this one to be. Oh, really? Yeah. Chunky. Diff bearings? Yeah. No, they're good too. Oh. Huh. Those are the ones I suspected, yeah, honestly. No, they're tight. This would have taken me hours to take apart. <laughs> <laughs> it took you like three minutes. <laughs> oh, this is, a, this is a good one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A yeah, just, just a little bit loose. There's an no. issue right there. <laughs> what bearing is that called? Oh, uh, what's a counter shaft bearing? Okay. You have to order one of these guys. So this one's worth saving. Yeah, I'd say so. Sweet. I'd fix this one. I mean, you have this chunkage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did lose that little Mistakes piece. Made. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can fix this one. And even then, like I said, I have, I have cases. Ooh. At least one, and I was actually supposed to sell my buddy one. He only took half of it, mm -hmm. so now I got stuck with one of these. So yeah, we can fix this. Definitely have to pick a case off of you. <laughs> yeah, and bring you a case. 
as well. Yeah, sure. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited to have met Antonio. Just when I thought I had made enough connections in the car community, there's just one more. And he's such a down-to-earth guy. I felt like I was in the right place being around his workshop, especially seeing all those Integros. He actually works at Honda, so he's going to be able to get all the OEM parts for it. He told me he's going to dig into the transmission more, take everything apart, and clean it out. And yes, I am at the car wash yet again. I'm sorry, twice in one video, because as you guys can see, the Integra is already full of salt and I just do not want this thing to rust out any more than it already has. Oh yeah, that'll probably last another couple hours. <laughs> well, luckily it's not like wet salt on the ground anymore. It's all pretty dried up. So hopefully the car will stay clean for longer than one day this time. Ah, it looks so good when it's wet. Ah, so much for washing the car. It is now raining. <laughs> well, that didn't even last 24 hours. I've just arrived at the junkyard because I haven't come to this yard in a while. So I figured I would check what they have in stock. Wheels, 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 wheels. All right, this is a horrible day to be at the junkyard. It's freezing, it's raining, and it's getting dark out. Here's a few Hondas. Wait, that's a KA, that's not a Honda. <laughs> or is that a KA? I don't know. I actually do not know if this is a KA or not. I'm gonna say no. Ooh. Good old Accord. Ooh, is this an E46? Man, looks like they had the bay done. Painted it all nice. This was definitely someone's project car. Is this manual? No, I think that's auto. Red interior. Oh, oh, red painted interior with wood paneling. Great matchup. Well, damn. What happened here? Oh my goodness. What is this? Lexus LS460. CRV V20. Five look. Whoa, someone took a C pillar off of this Civic. It's pretty interesting. A little EG sedan. Ooh, what's that? It looks kind of creamy. Looks old to me. Toyota. This thing's in good shape. Why is this in here? What the heck? What the heck, actually? Is that lotion? What is this? The clock? That's weird. The clock's still in here. It's from something else. Hmm. Okay, strange. Oh, it has roll up seat belts. What? No rust on the quarter panels. It's a Camry, 87 Camry. I did not even know this was a Camry. Did you guys know this was a Camry? This thing's pretty sick. Another car that should not be in the junkyard. Another Beamer. Oh, Integra. I knew I'd find something. Let's see what's up with this whole girl. Well, it probably had some aftermarket suspension on there. That's missing. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You know, it's always the cars that I need parts off of that are completely rotted. Like, for example, I need Integra quarter panels. <laughs> but I'm not taking that. Interesting choice of yellow. This is like highlighter yellow, not Phoenix yellow. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here though. Oh, the wing's broken with some screws. Oh, okay. <gasps> Jeez, is this stuck? Jesus. 
Oh my god, and it's tan. Well, it has stock rear suspension. That's actually really interesting. It still has the trailing arms, which are good for people building Civics. Let's take a look inside of here. Gutted. Okay. Oh, it was auto junk. This thing smells disgusting. Yeah. Must have had some speakers in there. Those are gone. All four of them and the radio. 150K. Surprisingly, the seat is not ripped. Usually these are completely shredded up. Although this is, you know, starting, but it's tan, so it doesn't really matter anyways. It's got mud flaps though. Those are hard to find. Still got the motor. Someone took the throttle body. Nothing really too crazy going on in here. ATF. Oil. <laughs> you know, your typical Honda fluids just scattered around the car. <laughs> Let's move down some miles and see what we got. Dang! That was a nice hit. Ooh, what is this? These are cool wheels. What? 89 Prelude. Dang. Man, I hate seeing these cars in here. Wow, it actually has all four wheels. Pop-up headlights. Man, why was this in here? I can only imagine what this kind of stuff sells for now. It's getting impossible to find parts for these older cars. And the interior looked pretty nice too. And it's black. How many miles? 130K. Oh, it's suede glove box. That's really nice. It does have some rust on it, but overall this car didn't look too rotted. But based on the moss that I'm seeing on here, it was probably sitting in someone's driveway or someone's backyard for a long time. And they were probably like, all right, let's get rid of this hunk of junk. We're not gonna do anything with it. Instead of just posting it up on Marketplace for someone to fix and save. Someone pulled the motor out of this Camry with the trans and it's just sitting right here. Did they pull it and they're like, actually, we don't want this one. <laughs> Could you imagine doing all that work and then not taking it? Oh my gosh, uh, that would suck. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, Mazda Speed 3, oh it's a Speed 3. Wait, what? Yeah, manual shift linkage. Dang, this thing was smashed. Oh yeah. Hopefully they're all right. So has the manual clutch pedal. I know people want these. Seats? Hold on, we got seats in here. They're unbolted. Did someone just unbolt these and they're like, actually, no, nah, I don't want them. These don't look too bad, man. It's a pretty nice seats. No tears. Back seats too. These are pretty nice. And someone grabbed the wing or the wing flew off. So it's a privacy cover. I don't know if those are rare for these cars. They're super rare for Hondas though. <laughs> and Nissans. Yeah. If you need parts off of that Mazda Speed 3, let me know. I'm sure those can be put to good use. I swear, every junkyard I go to has at least one G20. But this one's special. You want to know why? Because it's not only an SR20, but it's an SR20 boot. Oh, this one's actually pretty rusty though. Oh, what's this? A Porsche? This looks like it was someone's project Porsche based on some of this bodywork going on here. Dang. Oh, come on, dude. Completely rust free. That's really unfortunate to see. Look at this thing. TSX. Still want one of these someday. Black interior, decent. Still has the K-Series, K24. And as always, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to see more. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Looking forward to see you guys next time.